Jessica, that's right. Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer told me that Robert Forbes family attorney called her office and tried to leverage his position as a board member for the California Democratic Party to prompt the DA to intervene in the Bakersfield Police Department's investigation into that fatal collision, ultimately asking the DA's office to arrest and prosecute the driver. Yes, he claimed to be an elected official from the Democratic Party and he would send his people to protest if we did not get the case and file it. Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer describes a phone call made to her office on June 9th by Robert Forbes' family attorney, Amar Shergill. As a lawyer, we're, we're duty bound to follow certain ethics and obviously we feel that there has been a violation by doing something like that, by calling our office and threatening to send protesters uh, to our office if we do not file this case. But Shergill denies that. He really didn't say anything about sending protesters or organizing anything uh, like that. I explained that I was a trial lawyer. I explained that I know folks on the ground in uh, that were there at the scene. I explained that I, I understand what's going on across the state in my role as an executive board member for the California Democratic Party. The tension surfaces amid public outcry for racial equality in America. In this case, Robert Forbes, a black man protesting along California Avenue earlier this month, who was struck and killed by a car driven by a white man. We also know his history, that he's violent, and he appears to have a depraved indifference to human life, given his racist tattoos. The driver was not arrested by Bakersfield police because they say he was not speeding or under the influence. Forbes was in the roadway when he was hit. Witnesses attest that the driver intentionally hit Forbes. Police say they are still investigating and have asked anyone who witnessed the incident to come forward. Meantime, Shergill believes the district attorney's office should intervene and oversee the police investigation. Well, yeah, maybe the district attorney takes a hands off a case in, in most situations and lets the police department do the work. But sometimes cases are, are more important and they have legitimate community interests. Zimmer says BPD is more than capable to handle but, the investigation. Um, I have confidence in the Bakersfield Police Department that they will do a thorough job and uh, if and when they submit that case to us, uh, we will look at it thoroughly. If we have questions or want them to do additional work, we will send it back for that. We're not gonna be intimidated. I am going to follow my oath uh, to uphold the constitution and protect the public. And that means due process for all. And the Bakersfield Police Department told me they, they want the public to be assured that just because the driver hasn't been arrested so far, because they didn't find any probable cause to arrest him, that that doesn't mean that might not happen down the line. This is still an open investigation. Sergeant Nathan McCauley told me that the traffic division has been looking into this on top of other various department investigators within the police department looking into this, including homicide detectives looking into the driver's past to see if me may have had any motive to hit Forbes. They're looking into all of that. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, uh, Sergeant Nathan McCauley told me that there was an autopsy conducted on Forbes, which will answer a lot of questions that the police department still has in the investigation. For now, we're live in downtown by on Wang 23 ABC connecting you.